let's go to John 14 and 23. To the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So what is this saying? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. So this is saying, if you love Jesus, you are going to follow his rules and regulations. You are going to follow the Bible. Some people can see spirits. Some people believe that they may have seen Jesus Christ and angels and stuff like that. So they believe that, hey, since I can see Jesus Christ and angels and stuff like that, I can just speak with them and I don't have to read the Bible. We have to understand that demons can take the shape of Jesus Christ and angels. So if you don't know what the Bible says, they can easily fool you. If you were to see an angel or Jesus Christ, they are not going to contradict what the Bible says. But if you don't know what the Bible says, a demon can easily fool you each time. Does that make any sense? So we all need to study the Bible a lot more. We all have to. No matter what gift you have, even if you can hear from God, you have to understand that demons are going to speak to you too. And if they can take the shape of Jesus Christ, I believe also they may can imitate his voice as well. But if you don't know what the Bible is saying, you are going to begin to say what date the rapture is going to be or when Jesus Christ is coming back and stuff like that when we don't know. You are going to start to contradict what the Bible says if you don't read it and be led on by these deceiving spirits. Makes sense, right? So this is why we need the Bible to be our foundation. Okay. And my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So let's look at the word abode, or did I do that already? I'm not sure. Let's do it again, I guess. <laughs> A place of residence, a house, or home. Okay. So from what this is saying, when you are obedient to God, His presence is going to be with you. His presence is going to be on you. Some people want the presence of God to be with them always. One easy way All you have to do is be obedient to God. That's it. And God's presence is going to be with you. Makes sense, right? So the opposite has to be true too. If you are disobedient to God, you will have the presence of demons with you and on you. But sometimes most sane people don't want the presence of demons to be on them or with them. So what do you have to do? Man, you are either going to have the presence of demons or the presence of God. There is no middle ground. So if you don't want the presence of God, or if you say, well, there is no God, blah, blah, blah. 
So that means that you want the presence of demons. So you can't complain when bad things are happening to you. You can't complain. How can you? Because you are saying that you don't want anything to do with God, so by default, that means that you want things of demons. Basically, because you are rebelling against God, you can't say, well, I don't want God or demons. No, <laughs> if you don't want God, by default, you want demons. <laughs> so... I really hope this makes sense. You get the presence of God when you are following his rules and regulations. Read the Bible. Try to read the Bible with your mom and dad, cousins, uncles, nephews, so on and so on. The more you read, <clears throat> the more that you read, the better, the more that you are going to learn. And the better, if you apply it, the better your life is going to be. So really take heed to this. God bless.